Hey there everyone, welcome to Zorzo Plays Elite on the BBC Master 128. I'm Commander Zorzo. Um, good news, people, good news. Uh, I got a response from Ian Bell uh, regarding the issue of the kill count in the Master version of Elite. Um, he basically says that there's three possibilities. Number one, it uses a fractional uh, kill value similar to the C64 and NES version of Elite. Uh, option two um, is what I've suggested, which is that um, kills are disabled for certain ships. Now he does specify, me, you know, asteroids and boulders and things like that and he has ships in inverted commas so um i don't think he was really thinking sidewinders were disabled but um i'm going to do something slightly different this episode um his third option was that there's a bug in elite for the master 128 he says that um it wasn't as well tested as the BBC version, so there could quite possibly be a bug. I'm praying that is not the case. Um, but hopefully during the course of this episode you'll see. He suggested that I set up a watch on the emulator's memory um, to track the kill count that way, which is precisely what I have done. It took a bit of time to find where in the memory the values were located, but we... but I, I should say got there in the end. Now I know I asked where um, I want I asked you all to sort of post a comment about where you'd like to go. John Smith alerts 007 uh, aka um, suggested we go to a an anarchy world again. Now I'm going to do something slightly different in this episode and I'll probably jump to an anarchy world next episode um, but we sort of picked out teen which is par agricultural. We're a sat and an, an industrial, so we're going to buy some computers. I'm just going to take a few of those. There we go. So we've got a jump punched in now. You may have noticed that there's a slightly, it's gone back to that slightly weird squished resolution again. That's because I'm playing um, windowed in windowed mode again. But it allows me to switch between this and the debugger menu. So if I press over here should see there over on the left it says kill count equals 174 that is our kill count at the moment so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch finally okay there we go so you may notice that the screen will freeze every so often um, that's me checking the kill count now my intent my intention is to go out um, find some ships, blow them up, and as we blow them up, I am going to switch to the watch window over there, and you will hopefully see the kills going up, and you're going, I've done this before, you're going to see the, the problem that we start to run into, so here we go, here's our first guinea pigs, right, so that's a mamba there so we think those count don't we so hopefully when I blow this guy up if I can oh, come on there we go okay now our kill count should be 175 I have to click here to refresh the value there we go 175 so that mamba counted. Now what else was there? Yeah. We've got somebody else jumped in. This is supposed to be a quiet world. What's this here? This is a cargo canister. Now I've already ruled these out so I'm not going to flick over for these. But we have got three boys inbound. This could be painful. This was supposed to be a quiet world. <laughs> So this is a sidewinder. So here we go. Sorry about this, but there we go. You see, sidewinder does not count. Confirmed. 
This is what this episode's about. This is about confirming these ships. Now, what's that? I don't know what that is, but we're going to shoot it down anyway. I would like a visual ID on it, but maybe get that from the um, the bounty value. Let's wait for that to pop up. There we go. Now let's see if it counted. It did. 176. So whatever that was, that counted. In this scenario, this is the thing I think is most important. I think it's what these ships are spawned as. And these were definitely pirates. So this is another Mamba, so this should count. But it doesn't. So there you go. Now you're starting to see the problem that I have. Now let's see what happens if we blow up this cargo canister. Okay. Absolutely nothing. So for some reason that first first Mamba counted, but the second one didn't. And you're gonna you I think you're starting to see now why I'm doing this. I'm showing you this to show how difficult this whole situation is. I'm honestly of the opinion that the mystery is never going to be solved. Um I'm entertaining the possibility that there's something going on that we just doesn't make sense or we don't have the information to make sense of. So I don't know what to do about the kill count. Just jumping around in this system to find some guys. I don't really know what to do about the kill count. It seems impossible. Um don't know what that was. That looks like a Mark 1 or an Asp. That looks like the, something similar. We'll have to get it off the bounty, won't we? He flew right into the crosshair. He was asking for that. So here we go, kill count. That counted. Well, it's nice to see the kills going, actually going up. So I think we've identified that positively as a Cobra Mark 1. Let's see if that counted. Yes, it did. 178. Unfortunately, the, the watch value isn't real time, so I have to keep flicking over and um, clicking that button. Obviously, I could have just had it off to the side of the screen there, but I wanted you to see the actual value. Now I've done some experimenting. Missiles seem to count sometimes. <laughs> it's all sometimes. Occasionally I've seen ships count as two kills, which is most bizarre. Um, I have theories as to what is actually going on, but there's no way to disprove or prove them, so um, I don't really know what to do about the kill count. Um, I'm thinking I'll leave it on there. I mean, it is adding... It is adding significant time to the editing process, I won't I won't lie. Um, but I think it's worth doing. I think people like it, but I don't know if I'm going to count the kills. I might just show those at the end of the episode. See, that one didn't count. That was a crate. Now, normally we were... Um, we were counting the crates, weren't we? Oh, hello. Oh, he's going to get away. Not for long, though. See, two Mambas here now. Let's have a look. There you go. That one counted. Quite possible that the this one won't know. So there is some advantage to shooting the missiles down, as dangerous as that is. Ooh. We've got you now. Neutralized. So let's have a look. 
that one counted as well. So no rhyme nor reason to it, effectively. It is nice to see those kills going up. So it was amazing to get the email from Ian Bell. If you told me 30 years ago as a kid that I would have communicated with both Ian Bell and David Brabham. So not confirming any of these. Okay, so this is um, this is a gecko. So we're on his tail. Let's have a look. So 181. So of those three, only one counted. Let's see if this guy counts. Ooh, sorry about that. I have just enabled the fast witch space jump by accident. There we go. So, Mr. Gecko, do, do you count? No. No, he doesn't. Not this time, anyway. I will state again, um, through my testing, I've done a fair bit of testing with this, trying to get to the bottom of it this weekend, but um, I have seen Gecko's count. So, um, I don't really know. Um it's it's not so much a mystery as an enigma <laughs> anyway okay so here we go I think this is gonna be the last run on these ship wise That's that one let's wait for the bounty oh and he just flew right into us so did we get one or two? Just the one there. Um, oops. There we go. Sorry about this. Right then. Okay. So there you go. A demonstration of the madness that is um, kill counts in the Master 128 version of um, Elite. I am going to pause it uh, there. Um, so I'm going to be back next episode. I'm going to dock with the space station now and sell the um, sell the computers and stuff like that. So next episode will be docked and I'll make that jump to the anarchy world. And my intention is to try and stay there and get us past the 200 kills barrier. Um, so... Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that shows to you the difficulty that I've got, the position that I've been um, sort of put in. Um, if you want me to do this again, let me know. If you if you spot anything or you think you figured it out, please let me know. Leave a comment. Um, if you like the video, click like. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching, guys. Um, and I'll see you. Bye.